everyone. Welcome to tonight's Big Brother Canada chat. Oh, hi. <laughs> it's episode seven. Is that seven. our alliance? The... <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Again. Oh. Yes, it's episode seven. Mm -hmm. Can you believe it? Yeah. It only feels like episode <laughs> 27 at this point. I know, right? So last time, Spasa V nominated Viv and Elijah, a.k.a. Vivek and Elijah. Yes. <laughs> right. So I just have to say, the acting this season is terrible. I mean, Elijah was all... During the ceremony, we know that Spicy V has been acting her ass off for a while now. <laughs> she's not going to get any roles. Well, <laughs> she's putting in even more auditions later on. <laughs> yes. Bailey's thrilled with the noms. This is like one of the best case scenarios. I think probably the only other thing that would make her happier <clears throat> is if Tola was up on the block. Yeah, she's like, okay, big sisters, what up? A guy's going this week, no yeah. matter what. We're rocking this out. And we're just watching this like, oh, no. There's going to be a horrible accident. <laughs> I Get know. out of there. We know the train is crashing, and we are required to watch it. Yeah. So Dennis, uh, sorry, Dennis and Viv, Vivek. Some people say <clears throat> Vivek. Yeah. Some people say Vivek, and some people say Vivek. Vivek. I thought it was Vivek. I know That's the second syllable is definitely Vic. Because I remember right. him saying that. Right. I want to say it's Vivek. But, yeah. yeah, everybody's got their own interpretation in the house. And it's like, I can like... we all just say the same thing, which would be the I correct know. one, please? I like to call him Viv because of the keyboardist in Spinal Tap. Oh, okay. That's why. Yeah. Well, Vivek is pretty excited to be up on the block next to Elijah because he feels like Spicy V... Maybe even did him a favor here on purpose because maybe she thinks that uh, Vivek yeah. would have a better chance of beating Elijah and she right. wants him to win the veto. Well, you do know that there's other players in the veto competition. Also, that's not what players. this is. <laughs> of course not. She put up Elijah because she knows there's no way Elijah would go home against you. Is there a bromance going on between v Vivek and uh, Dennis? Dennis? Yes. These oh. two have really bonded this week. I think they were already working together, but they bonded like on more of a personal level this week. I think they had a marathon four hour Like a combo. four hour thing. A four hour in the house date. Talking about life. <laughs> yeah. And it really has brought the two of them closer together. I love to see, see this is the kind of thing that I love <clears throat> about Big Brother. Yeah. And that we're missing, really, from not having the, the feeds. The live feeds. I know. Yeah. And we talked about this on our stream today. Apparently, um, Dennis was saying he almost feels like a fatherly thing. Right. For Vivek. I mean, Dennis is 48, and Vivek is what, like 24 or 25? He's 25. So. He could possibly be his dad. It is an interesting dynamic that I don't feel like we see often on this show. So I would yes. like to see this develop more. I'm excited about it. Me too. Um... As far as the game goes, Dennis is saying if he gets to play for the veto, maybe he will be able to throw it Vivek's right. way. You know, make sure that Vivek is going to be safe this week. Right. He doesn't want to put a target on his own back by winning, by winning a mm -hmm. second veto in a row. Right. Every veto <laughs> this season. <laughs> and then, like, having to then use it. Right. He would much rather see Vivek win himself and bring himself right. down. Right. All right. So Spicy V is up in the HOH room. She's, uh, say, oh, uh, I think I'll just turn on this spy screen here and see what's going on. This spy, screen's, spy screen has been getting a lot of play this season. It's been causing a lot of trouble this season. It has. So she's uh, flipping through the channels, and she goes to the uh, hot tub room, mm -hmm. and she's like, oh, Donna and Todd. What's going on here? Are sitting on a lounge chair together, talking and fist bumping. What's that? What's oh this my all God. about? They're not allowed to like be friends. She's all paranoid because they're supposed to be that East Coasters Alliance, which wasn't an actual thing. East Coast connection. Right. But like Todd and uh, Donna. Donna have been close like since the beginning. Yeah. They're friends. I. It's a little bit ridiculous to me. Well, she <laughs> gets on her broom and goes downstairs to the freaking hot tub room and confronts them and is being... What's going on here? So freaking snarky about, like, you know. I made these nominations for you because 
Vivek was throwing you under the bus saying you're working together. And she's expecting like, a, oh my God, thank you so much for doing this. When that's not what Donna wanted anyway. She wanted Tola to be yeah. the target this week. And Donna's just sitting there like. I know. And uh, what's going on Spicy right now? Spicy V is trying to sell this. Like she did this for them when that's not the case at all. And why and is then, she saying like all this in front of Todd? I know. And then uh, Victoria gets all pissed off when she's not getting the praise that she's expecting. Girl. <laughs> so she goes flying back up to the HOH room. <laughs> I just have to say, too, I still feel like they give them way too many different views on that spy screen. I think you should get, like, three max. Maximum. Yeah. It's yeah. just too many. Too many options. They shouldn't be allowed to see that much of the house. Right. I mean, she couldn't even see their faces. No. So, like, But I mean, like, even to see who's in what room. Right. It's too much. All right. Well, <laughs> Matt and Lexus have their own little... No man's going on. So that's They call sigh. it a no man's, but okay. <laughs> I I think it's a flirt man's right now. I think it could definitely mall. blossom. There uh Lexus is all like we're just like hanging out, we're chilling. My friends <laughs> say I never like anyone ever. She sounds so much fun to hang out with. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> we just chill all day and talk and still have nothing thing nothing to talk about. I love how this is not a problem. But it was Todd and Donna for are Todd a problem. And Donna. Yes. Come on now. Lexus has graduated to sitting on Max's Max, Max? <laughs> on Matt's lap now. Would you say it's Mexis? Maybe. Or Lat. <laughs> <laughs> lap you? Lex you? I don't know. I don't know. We'll have so, to workshop that. But yeah, um, they're getting closer and then that's all busted up when Elijah comes in. Hi everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Can I come in? Of course. Yeah. <clears throat> so it's time for, to pick players for the veto. Okay. So this year they have the envelope system. Oh, the winner is, it's an honor just to be nominated. <laughs> <laughs> is it? So Vivek picks, oh, what's in my envelope? It's Dennis. <laughs> Don't show any important <laughs> <I> documents. <know. laughs> it's Dennis. Oh, that's exactly who he was hoping for. So he, he got really left wish. out there. He got his wish. Yes. Oh, be careful. Okay, let's see. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Elijah, he's up, and he picks... Oh. <gasps> Lexus! Oh. A blank page. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and then Spicy V, although she can't play in the veto competition, she still, still gets, gets to, pick. to pick a player. And, oh, my eyes are seeing house guest choice. <laughs> Avery. So she's freaking out. Yeah, she picks Avery. Big surprise there. Right. I think um, she actually asked for volunteers and, like, who wants to play, but they edited that part out right. of the episode, and Avery was all like, Pick me. Pick me. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Teacher, teacher. <laughs> yeah. So. Vivek is thrilled with these picks. He is. Why? I don't know. I think he feels like he has a good chance to win. He's also got Dennis in his corner. He thinks maybe he can convince some people to throw it to him. So he does actually go around. And ask some of the people playing. I guess he it. was thrilled because it's not Tola playing, it's not Anthony playing, it's not you know Matthew's and it, not playing. And at this point, didn't uh, Spicy V already tell him <clears throat> that? I believe it was after the veto picks, oh, okay. but before the veto. Okay. If I remember correctly. Right. So, so Avery is all like celebrating with Vivek, blah blah blah. We're both playing. And then Donna comes in and she is celebrating with Vivek and that's and, not okay. And they're all like small talks. Yeah. And we're gonna make a little handshake and Avery's watching this and she's just like What's no, going on here? This isn't allowed. Donna's not allowed to talk to anyone. <laughs> again, I guess she's all nervous because the rumors of that East Coast thing, which again everyone has confirmed is not a thing. But yeah, um Avery goes and talks to Spicy V, and, and she's like, oh, Donna was celebrating with Vivek. They were all chummy, like their oh, best really? friends. Oh, really? Well, then I want Donna out. <laughs> Just before that, Spicy V was like, if either of you win the veto, because she was talking to Alexis and Avery, she was like, if either of you win, I want you to leave Noms the same. We right. take out Vivek. And then they start going on and on about Donna, and all of a sudden, Spicy V is like, it's done. She's going. I'm backdooring her. <laughs> Oh, my God. Yeah, it's a lot. This is bad. Mm -hmm. This is very bad for uh, Spicy V. So, Spicy V and Vivek have a little meeting, and she says, uh, relax, you're not going you're home. And he's, he's like, wait, what? 
He was not expecting that. She said, uh, I have a plan in, a plan B, but don't you dare cross me. Otherwise, I, I have people that will come for you in this game. Jeez Louise. They might even kill you. Oh, my God. <laughs> so she doesn't tell him who the new target is, mm-hmm. but she's like, just go with it. Like, you're going to be safe. Right. So, yeah. Then Her, she meets with Dennis. Right, because her one concern here, she feels like she can count on, obviously, Vivek or Elijah winning, mm-hmm. the, playing the veto if they win. Right. Because, of course, they're going to save themselves. And then she's like, I can tell Lexus and Avery what to do. Right. The only wild card here is Dennis. Is Dennis. If he wins, would he use it? Well, she gets him up into the HOH room and says, if you win the veto, you should use it. Yeah, she was like, there's nothing wrong with having an ally, blah, blah, blah. This will be used against you later. But for right now, because it benefits me, <laughs> mm-hmm. there's nothing wrong with you having a person and everyone knowing about it. And you should save them. Just ask Donna. Yeah. Oh, my God. All right, so it's time for the POV comp. Okay. And guess who the guest host is? It's Dimitri from season oh, five. Oh, he good. Yeah, it's good to see him. I'm so excited yeah. for him and Ika. For when they get married. I know. They've been engaged a long time It's been a while now, yeah. yeah. All right. So the name of the uh, competition is called Comp Beast Boot Camp. Oh. And... I like this comp. It was kind of a survivor... It did have a survivor feel for sure. ...type competition where you had to transfer two blocks at a time through... Through a a grueling ropes course. It was pretty grueling. Ropes obstacle course. Multi-level. Yes. I mean, you're climbing up nets. There was you're going through sweat. Knots. There was boob sweat. <laughs> there, there was sweat was, everywhere. <laughs> there was sweat everywhere. Sweat equity. Yeah. Um, then the really tough part was if you got those blocks through the ropes course, you had to drop them into this little A square-shaped uh, cutout. cutout. And it was not that much bigger than the block. Right. So if you didn't hit it just right... It was probably not going in. There were a few times where it bounced and it ended up going in. So did they have to take those blocks back to the beginning again? I think so. Or did they just have to take it back up and redrop it? I thought you had to take them back to the beginning, but I'm not 100% sure on that. That would have yeah, taken it, a long time. If you time. missed, you had to do it again. Yeah. So that's tough. And there's 16 blocks total. Whoa. So then once you get all your blocks through, you can start your puzzle. Right. And basically you had to have uh, only one of each color and symbol in each row and column. You couldn't have two of right. the same. Right. And they couldn't be, like, next to each other either. Right. Oh, that was tough. That's fun, though. I like that. I, I love puzzles like that. That's my uh, nerd brain. <laughs> you know, I love those type of things. I also just like how in Survivor you have the physical and the mental. So, right. like, even if somebody blows through the physical, they're not necessarily going to win it. Well... Unless they're a triple threat or a double threat, whatever it is. But I'm saying, like, there you have to have, have both. You have to have puzzle and body, <laughs> body, yaddy, right. yaddy, body, yaddy, yaddy. Mm-hmm. Don't don't gorge yourself at lunch and then put on a corset. Yeah. All right. So does anyone get that reference? <laughs> Avery and Dennis were leading neck and neck. They were the very entire close time, the entire time, and the whole time. Spicy V is watching this, like. She was definitely not rooting for Dennis. No, she was definitely rooting for Avery, and I feel like she made it super obvious. She made it super obvious. It was terrible. Yeah. Whenever Avery would miss something, she'd be like, oh! Whenever <laughs> Dennis would get something, she would be like, oh! Yeah. She oh. was uh, not doing a very good job of hiding her intentions here. No, because she really didn't want Dennis to win. Mm-hmm. Because she didn't know if he was going to use it or not. But he did. He won. So this is his second win in a row. Right. He just beat out Avery, Seconds too. Seconds apart. I think they both They asked both for had it check. completed, but he yeah. checked in first, so he won. Right. So Spicy V's really freaking out right now. She's uh, running around the house. Do you think he's going to use it? Do you think he's going to use it? <laughs> she gets him up in the HOH room, mm-hmm. and she was like, are you going to use it? you going to use it? Do you think you're going to use it? <laughs> he's like, I don't know. We'll talk about it. So, Avery, on the other hand, she's really glad that she didn't win. She didn't want to have to make the decision here and get blood on her hands. Good for you. Congratulations. Well, Donna is downstairs, people watching, and she sees that Anthony grabs Lexus, and they go into the HOH room. She's like, hmm, that's weird. To talk to uh, Spicy V and Avery. Why is Anthony going to the HOH room so much? Well, that's what she said to Bailey. 
And and she was good like, observation. Yeah, that's pretty freaking weird. Why why is he up there so much? Also, why are the girls not telling them about this? If they're so yeah. open and honest all the time. Why are they not sharing? Right. Well, Spicy V tells her little friends in the HOH room. Uh, I don't want Dennis to know that Donna's the replacement. Yeah, because Dennis. Is on pretty good terms with Donna, and she's not sure that he would like would they use or, the veto. Friend, I guess, <laughs> but I don't know that that would stop him from using it. I mean, he's much closer to Vivek than he is to Donna, from what I can tell. Well, before she talks to Dennis, she decides that she's gonna lie about who she wants to put up, and then she's just gonna make up some crap at the end. Yeah, I mean, she figures if she makes it seem like she's gonna put up Matt or like Tola, then Dennis will go ahead and use the veto. Right. So she's just going to, like, go for that and then be like, yeah, I got some new information and uh, I had to do this. Right. So now uh, Donna and Todd are talking again, this time on the down low. Mm-hmm. And Todd says that Dennis is using the veto on Vivek. Oh. And Donna's like, oh? She's like, I don't think I'm going to go up. Like, I'm close with V. So then she's like, I'm going to go talk to her, see right. what I can do. Right. So Spicy V tells Dennis... Use the POV for Christ's sakes. And he said he'll use it. Yeah, he was like, you know what? Yes, Vivek and I have gotten very close. But shh. I'm going to do this. Don't tell me who you're going to put up because I want to be able to pretend that I don't know because I don't know. And I'm very poor at acting. He wants that plausible <laughs> deniability, baby. Oh, I just cracked my knee. Oh, Jeez. no. All right, so... That now that bad. I know, now that Donna knows that the veto is probably going to be used, she's like, "All right, it's game time. I'm going to go talk to Spicy and see if I can get her to make a big move." So she walks in. She <clears throat> strolls in there, mm-hmm. and she dramatically tells her little story of how uh, Spicy V should put Dougie up as the replacement. I mean, like hell yeah, that'd be a huge move. It'd be amazing. And Spicy V is just like this the whole time. Yeah, she is not for this. What? Ooh. But she kind of was in a not way. Not really. She's playing along. Acting. <laughs> All right. She's not for that. Well, <coughs> she realizes that Spicy V is for the girls. You mean Donna? I mean, yeah, Donna's yeah. for the girls. Spicy V says she's feeling a little guilty because she's like, oh crap, Donna is actually like trying to make moves for our alliance, and I'm not. <laughs> yeah. And she does not really want to send home another girl on her HOH, but she'll do it. I mean, we saw her original season. She'll feel guilty. (laughs) She'll do it, and then she'll apologize later. Yeah, so she talks to Elijah, and she's like, Hey, little guy. (laughs) Should we, like, maybe ask Dennis not to use the veto? Like, should we just get rid of Vivek like we had planned? And he said, I don't think that's a good idea if you want to stay next week. Yeah. All right, well, (laughs) it's time for the veto ceremony. Oh, my God. The campy speeches, I just can't anymore. The speeches haven't been great so far. I'm glad that we got them back and we get to hear them, but, like, maybe somebody should let the house guests know that that the speeches are back (laughs) because they're not great. Guys, can we get a speech coach in there? Because it's not good. I know you don't like ditches, and geese and ditches don't have a lot in common, so... (laughs) <laughs> I'd love for you to use it on me, but whatever. Was lamer. Just like the boilerplate, I'll, I'll respect whatever you do either way. Or like something that's just like super cringe. I I kind of just prefer the, the boilerplate. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I do. I'll take the cringe, even though I'm just like, when I'm listening to it. Well, At least it's something different. Dennis does use the POV on Vivek. Okay. And Spicy V marches up there. Oh my god, this was a mess. This was a mess. And it's like, um, I had some new info, yada, yada, yada. They cut a, they cut the ass out of that speech. Oh yeah, I think there was much more that we did not see. There was much more about, like, sorry Canada, sorry Janine. This person has been making other people, people feel, like, left out or something like yeah. that. Just, we can tell from what everybody's been saying on the Digital Dailies that that was something included in the speech here. Then she says, Donna is the replacement. And everybody went, yeah. I don't think anyone was more shocked than Bailey, though. Oh, my God. (laughs) Bailey was having an existential crisis. Yes. 
I was worried for her. <laughs> Me too. So Donna goes up to the chair. She is pissed. I think she's also just in shock. Yeah, she was definitely shooketh. Yeah. And then when everybody's hugging, Donna is walking away <laughs> because she just wants to get away from these ass face people. <laughs> And Spicy V is like, Donna, can I talk to you, Donna? And Donna's like, no. <laughs> Thank Meanwhile, you. That was good. <laughs> Bailey is having a full-ass meltdown. Yeah. She's all... <laughs> like Jerry Blank's dead? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was a lot. So, that's where we're at. <laughs> we're going to see the fallout from that tomorrow. Pretty messy gameplay. Very messy gameplay. Do you guys think that Spicy made a mistake? Cause I yes. Do. A big one. Yeah. Big time. Big one. Week two. Yeah. If she makes it to jury, I would be surprised. Yeah. <laughs> so let us know your thoughts on this episode in the comments. Thank you all for watching. We'll be Thanks, back tomorrow guys. for our digital daily live oh. stream and then our episode recap. At, Somebody's going home. Yeah. The show's on tomorrow at 930 on mm -hmm. the East Coast. Yep. <laughs> East Coasters Alliance. That's right. That's us. <laughs> Let's do our uh, our thing. No, oh, that. It's... Yes. <laughs> you don't even know? How many alliances are you in? I just have so many handshakes, you know? <laughs> so, anyway, we'll see you all tomorrow. Thanks again for watching, and until next time, much, much love. love.